What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Bullshot Darts. So as we all know, the most important thing that you have to do to get better at darts is practice. And the number one excuse I hear from people as to why they don't practice enough is that they don't have enough time. So in this one, I'm going to go over five different ways to help you find the time to practice more darts, which will lead to you getting better and hopefully winning some more money on the dartboard. But first, guys, if you are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. The more Bullshot Darts you watch, the more 180s you'll hit. Drop the video a thumbs up and also go check out BullshotDarts.com. So we're just going to get right into this list, guys, because you need to find the time to practice. And doing these things will help you get more practice and it's going to improve your game so much. So the first thing that you can do is wake up a little bit earlier. Sometimes, well not sometimes, but when you work all day and then you come home... It's hard to pick up the darts and throw because you've been up all day, you've been working, you're exhausted, you have to sit in the car on the way home, which, you know, that really drains my energy is sitting. Like if I sit down, that's when I find it hard to get up and actually do things. So waking up early, all you have to do is wake up 20 minutes early. 20, waking up 20 minutes earlier in the morning is not going to kill you. And that practice that you're going to get in the morning is going to be so valuable because one, you're going to get in a solid 20 minutes of practice, but two, the practice you're going to get in the morning is going to be great because that's when you're going to feel nice and refreshed. And also at tournaments, you know, you wake up, depending on the time of the tournaments, but you wake up and then throw darts if there's early events. So it'll prepare you to be able to throw darts shortly after waking up as opposed to having all day to wake up and then throw your darts. So the first tip is wake up 20 minutes or however many minutes, even if it's five minutes early to get five minutes of throwing, getting that five minutes every morning is going to be better than not. So set your alarm clocks a little bit earlier and throw in the morning. Number two, we're going to go the complete opposite of that way uh, and throw darts right before you go to bed. So like I said, when you're sitting down or working all day, then you get home and sit down for a second. It's hard to get up and throw the dart. So it's you have to get up to go to bed so one thing that i've been doing lately is that when i get up to go to bed i'll just get up 10 15 20 minutes earlier than i want to go to bed and get to my dartboard so when you're exhausted the hardest thing to do is just get started with something once you get started then it's so much easier with darts it's no different so once you get up boom that's 33 percent of the bat no that's half the battle is just getting up and getting to the dartboard, picking up your darts and getting in a few rounds. Now you're practicing, you're going to feel good, and then throw for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, or however long you want before bed. And one of my favorite things about throwing at night is that when I eventually do go to bed, darts is on my mind. You know, I throw darts right before I go to bed, now I'm thinking about darts while I'm in bed, and that just helps my mental state. I think about my practice, I think about my confidence. So, you know, just thinking about darts will make you better. Like, it sounds weird. So at night, it's kind of nice to go to bed thinking about darts, and sometimes I get lucky and dream about darts, which I love that too. <laughs> All right, let's get away from that weird stuff. <laughs> uh, this third one, this has been my go-to lately. Uh, and this is have a dartboard at work. And of course, not everyone's going to be able to have a dartboard at work. I have not been able to have a dartboard at work my whole life. I am 33 years old and I have never had a job or anything where I've been able to have a dartboard at work. So now I am able to have a dartboard at work and it has been so incredible. Uh, my past school that I worked at, I didn't have a lunch break because I chose to work through my lunch break to make a couple extra dollars. And I also didn't have my own office. So whenever I had free time, I was in another room with my other teachers and we were just hanging out. Now I actually have my own office and I have an actual lunch break. So it's been incredible because I'm up on my feet all day at work. And then when lunchtime rolls around, I don't sit down because if I sit down, it's going to be hard to get up to throw the darts. So I just go straight to my bag, I grab my darts, and then I just start throwing, and then I get to throw darts during my lunch break. So that has been absolutely incredible. So if you are able to have a dartboard at work, definitely take advantage of it, because that is a perfect time to get in some throwing. 
And if you have a family at home and a lot of stuff going on at home, you know, it'll, you won't have those distractions going on or you won't have those responsibilities to worry about while throwing. So dartboard at work. Next, number four, plan nights to actually go out and throw. So this is another one of my favorite things to do because sometimes I'll have a hard time picking up my darts at home. So I tell myself like, if I go out, I'm gonna like force myself to play and it's a fun environment. So one of my favorite ways to do this is uh, if there's a good sporting event on, I don't really watch too much sports, but I like watching sports when it's on. So if one of my sports teams happen to have a game on a weekday night, why not go out, watch it, and throw some darts? It's a fun night. I get to throw some darts. I get to watch the game. And I don't really have any darts friends where I'm at. Uh, I mean, you know, 30, 40 minutes away. So even if I go out by myself, like, it doesn't bother me. I bring my dart connect. I play against the dart connect. I'm out. I'm throwing. And it's also nice, too, because now you're getting practice in a like a bar type area instead of the comfort of your own home. So it'll help improve your darts for when you do go out to the bars and throw. And the last one, we're gonna go over your number five. This kind of goes along with number four, but play some blind draws. Blind draws are a great way to get better at darts because they're more laid back. You don't have to feel so much pressure. You can win a couple dollars. You're with a bunch of people and it practices you playing in a competitive environment. So this kind of goes along with the last one of going out and throwing darts, but depending where you live, you could go out and play blind draws one, two, three, four nights a week. Now you don't have to go out that many times, but even if you just go once a month, it's better than not going at all. So that's it guys. Practice is so important. So I don't want to hear the excuses anymore of I don't have time to practice because you could do one of any of these things and you're going to have that more time to shoot darts. So let's get in this last one here. Oh, geez. Darts are off right now. It's the first time I've talked and thrown darts in a long time. <laughs> and it is showing. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Some videos should have popped up, popped up over here. Click one. Click them both. Check them out. Drop the video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, fullshotdarts.com to grab your new favorite dart shirt. I will see you all in the next one. And shoot well.